I got a butt massage for the first time recently. <laughs> Have y'all had one of those? Oh, man. I'm not talking about an elbow to the glute. I'm talking full on butt booty massage. <laughs> I mean, I was at this very respectable spa on my stomach and this guy just started going in on my ass. <laughs> Making noises too. <laughs> Making noises too. Hey, maybe she'll have time to hit the spa over at the Wynn before she hits the stage. Comedian Fortune Feemster joins us via Zoom. Uh, you know what? You you are on to something, Fortune. With, with the, something about the butt massage. Nobody wants to talk about it except for you know crazy news anchors and comedians. But <laughs> man, it feels good, huh? It, it's pretty delightful, you know? It's uh, a nice little treat that uh, you don't realize how much tension you hold there. So you gotta get a little, uh, little elbow in there. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was, um, you even used the scientific term too. You used glute, which I'm proud of you. I thought you were just I mean, gonna go listen. full butt. I listen. I listened in school. I learned a couple of things. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you are going to be making your uh, encore theater debut on April first. Okay. So yeah. it's not a joke, even though it is April first, right? <laughs> That's right. It's <laughs> April Fool's Day, but we are going to be having a lot of fun laughs uh, and a lot of jokes. Um, I can't wait. It's my first time performing at the Win. And um, I love Vegas. My friend Chris Frangiola from Chelsea Lately days, he'll be joining me. So we're going to have fun. Okay. Well, you know, since we're, since it does happen to be on April 1st, let me ask mm -hmm. you, growing up, you know, you are a comedian. Did you like the practical jokes? Did you do a lot of practical jokes? Or was you mostly like the writing and, and you know, the joke telling? I'm definitely the observer. I'm kind of watching to see what's going on and taking it all in. And then I sort of spit it all back out in my own sort of silly, positive way. I was never big into pranks. Uh, I actually was the the person like at Girl Scouts when people were pranking. I was like, please don't let this prank be on me. Uh -huh. I just was, for whatever reason, not a fan of that. So that was never my sense of humor. Uh, like roasting, pranks, things like that. Yeah. Not really my style. I'm more a storyteller. I love to like be silly and fun on stage and talk about things in my life and my family, uh, things that people can relate to. And just sort of, you know, my goal is to, to make people come to the show and uh, leave feeling better than when they got there. That's always my, my hope. For sure, I'm, lo we're, I'm looking at the video of the shtick you did on the butt massage. And you know what, even without <laughs> hearing you, I'm laughing because your facial face. expressions are hilarious. Uh, do, you have, do you have anything uh, specific for Vegas? Obviously, you, you said you like to observe people watch. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't find a better place than here. I mean, come on. My plan is to definitely get there early, go in the casino, you know, uh, check out the restaurants and, and just watch. I mean, you got to people watch because already that's, you know, 15 minutes of new material right there. Yeah. So definitely we'll be incorporating stuff like that into the show. And this this particular show uh, that I'm doing right now is is way more interactive than any other show I've done before. So I'm talking to the audience a lot. I hand the microphone to the audience at some point. And you know in Vegas, you're gonna get some stories, so I can't wait for this one. It's It's gotta be great. I always wondered about that, you know, where it, we, obviously when you give up your routine and start adding the crowd, it's always a risk, you know, but sometimes yeah. it's gold, right? Well, I started <clears throat> I started in improv. A lot of people don't know that about my, my comedy journey. I studied at the Growlings for seven years, so I always had this skill that I, I didn't really incorporate into my shows, and then I was like, wait, like I have this whole other part of my comedy that I, I've not shared with people. So why am I not doing that? So I started on this tour and it's been so fun. Uh, but yeah, when you go to places, you know, that, that have interesting people, that have people with stories, have yeah. people that are having fun like Vegas, it, ha it adds a whole other dynamic to it, a whole other element. But I like to think at this point, I'm quick on my feet and I try to take what people say and incorporate that into the show, into my material and, you know, try to make that specific night 
uh, special to that crowd. Like what they see that night as far as crowd work will never be seen exactly. in any other show. Well, I've seen your show live and it's been hilarious. So um, oh, thank yeah, you. Absolutely. And the next time you can see uh, Fortune here is at the Encore Theater at Wynn on April 1st. Uh, of course, mm -hmm. you can always catch her on uh, XM Sirius and you got a lot going on. So you know, the information's yeah. on your screen to uh, find out what you're up to. And we really appreciate yeah. it. Absolutely. I appreciate you guys chatting with me. And yeah, some good stuff coming. If you haven't seen my Netflix specials, they're out there. And then I'll be in a fun action series with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh my God, yeah. Fifth. We're going to have to talk Netflix about that. Too. We're going to have to talk about yeah. that on another time because that, that's a whole other conversation. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Fortune. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you, guys. All right.